about that. On, on a light note, I'd like to uh, wish my daughter Addison, uh, my youngest, it's her uh, birthday today. She's 12 years old. Actually, both both my daughters are 12 today because they, uh, they're 11 months apart, so they're both 12. Um, I, I'm glad everybody was able to get on. Obviously, this is crazy times for all of us. Um, I want to start by wishing you and, and your families um, all the health. Uh, and happiness during these tough times as, as possible. A couple of points that I want to cover, and then we'll probably open it up to, to questions. But again, I hope you and your families are, are safe. Um, I think you guys all heard about Mac Hippenhammer. Um, this is a conversation we've had really for the last two years, had the conversation last year as well. I uh, knew we were trending in this direction, and and uh, you know, Mac has decided to focus on on baseball. Had a really good conversation with Coach Cooper about it. And um, I think he's got a bright future, and we're excited about his opportunities there. Uh, I want to encourage everybody out there to, to stay home, um, to wash their hands, be diligent about those things, um, and uh, obviously uh, avoid as much contact with, with, uh, with others as possible. Um, you know, I don't think any of us um, have ever, you know, ex you know, expected anything like this or experienced anything like this. Uh, it's a scary time for all of us, and we want to make sure that we're doing everything we possibly can to flatten the curve. Um, I want to give thanks to all the medical workers out there. I got a lot of friends and people out there that are having to go to work every single day to, to help people uh, and make a difference with this virus. So I want to thank all the medical workers out there uh, across the country, and then obviously specifically uh, with our uh, Hershey Children's Hospital and, and the Hershey Hospital overall that we're connected to at Penn State. I want to thank all the people out there that are doing great work across the country. Um, you know, obviously not having spring practice is the, is the focus for our players, um, but obviously this, the magnitude of this is, is, is much more significant than that, obviously. Uh, you look at all the other sports that were in season that got canceled, uh, but this is much bigger than sports. Obviously, this is this is something that the entire world is dealing with, um, and sports um, obviously take a back seat to that. So it seems seems kind of strange to be talking about sports when we're when we're dealing with such uh, such a more difficult challenge. Um, and then probably the last couple things that 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 I kind of wanted to mention about. Um, is just kind of how we're operating right now. And there's probably going to be a lot of questions about that, but we, we're really embracing the technology. Um, I think it's been good for our staff in a lot of ways in terms of um, uh, embracing the technology. We're all over Zoom. We had a Zoom staff meeting this morning. Um, we'll have a team meeting this afternoon. Uh, we've been having about one team meeting a week. About, a, about I think last team meeting we had 157 people on it with staff and players and everything else. So it, it's been good. And then what I've been doing is uh, been meeting with uh, positions. So I'll, I'll I'll go to the position meetings and get on the position meetings and, and talk to the guys and answer any questions they may have in smaller groups. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we're trying to have at least one team meeting a week, and then we staff meeting a staff meet every other day, and then again trying to connect with our players and making sure they're in a good place and safe and taken care of. So um, it's been a scramble, it really has, but um, the staff has been awesome. We've sent workouts uh, for our guys, whether they're body weight workouts if they have no uh, weightlifting you know, weightlifting equipment in their house. Um, or if they do have weightlifting equipment, knowing exactly what that is and, and, and setting a workout for them. Uh, obviously, everything you know, with them being home this time um, is all is all uh, optional for them to do. Um, but you know, I, I, our guys are very motivated. I think they're doing a great job there. And then obviously, all the online classes and things like that that we're trying to support our guys with as well. So. Um, you know, I like to be planned and organized for, for everything that I possibly can be. Um, I will admit this isn't something that, that we had a plan for. So uh, just a couple of points I wanted to hit, but most importantly, I wanted to open it up to questions. Start with Mark Brennan from Fight on State. Hey, James.